Today, I'm creating a DIY project for my friend Elle, who needs a little more storage in her workout room. This is part of a much larger series called Buy or DIY, which you can check out here. But this is behind the DIY. All of the materials for this project can be found below, or you can find a full breakdown on thecoralchannel.com. And if you haven't already subscribed to Coral, make sure you do, but let's get into this DIY. First, we're gonna sand our two one by six boards that are four foot six inches using a 220 grit sandpaper. Make sure both boards are left with a nice smooth finish. We're going to pre-stain both of these boards on both sides. By pre-staining, this is going to ensure that your stain color remains even and blotch free. I like to call this the shampoo of boards. It's been conditioned. So I'm gonna let that pre-stain dry. Next up, we're staining our boards. I'm using a beautiful warm toned brown. Stain each side until you're happy with the color. I always suggest staining your boards using a cotton rag. This may take one or two coats depending on the look that you're going for. I did apply a quick finish on these boards. Normally you wanna do about two to three coats of finish. Makes the board nice and durable so that it's gonna stay protected. Next up, I'm taking three wood crates, just giving them a light sand, and I'm painting them a beautiful blush pink chalk paint. Chalk paint is amazing because it's a really great starter paint. If you're not used to painting, you can't mess chalk paint up. I could go on forever about why I love chalk paint. It doesn't smell, it's completely odorless. It's non-toxic. I love that I can see the wood through it so you don't lose that personality. So when they're all done, all three of them should look beautiful and pink just like this. Ha <laughs> ha! I love this. I'm blushing, am I the same color of these? To give it a nice finished top coat, cover each crate with a chalk paint wax finish and let that dry. Now let's put this whole bench together. I'm taking one of my boards, putting it on the bottom, lining up my three crates beside each other, and I am securing the crates to the wood. What I've sourced is a 5 8 dome head screw, and I have a washer that's going to go with it. The washer will ensure the screw does not rip through the crate, which is a very thin plywood. Place in four screws per crate, two at the front and two in the back. Flip it over and do it all over again. By the end, you should have something that looks like a crate sandwich. Actually, I kind of think it looks like a little ice cream sandwich. I'm hungry. To give this bench some height, I'm using small eight inch pin legs, which I'm securing to all four corners of the bottom board. To give the middle some structural integrity, I'm adding a small eight inch support leg into the middle of the board. And voila! That was underwhelming because it's backwards. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> this is such a good way to bring storage in a really fun DIY way. But Elle has some weights that she wants as storage, so I'm actually going to create an X-shape piece that's going to hold all of her weights inside. So to build my X, what I've done is I've measured out two pieces on my one quarter inch plywood, which is 19 and 3 eighths by 9. To make my cuts, I'm using a table saw, but you can use anything like a circular saw or a jigsaw to do this at home. Mark halfway down the board. Now I'm gonna mark a line across the short length of my board, then mark the halfway point on that line. Do this for both boards and make sure your lines are the same. Actually, this is a really great fan. New DIY. I'm a fan of that. I'm adjusting my table saw to 20 degrees and I'm lining up my saw blade so that the blade cuts through the middle of the line to your marked center point. Pick the top or bottom of your cut line and run the blade through one more time. Whichever side you pick, make sure you do the same on the second board. Repeat this step for the second board. So now what I should be able to do is take the two pieces, slide them in together like such, and we have an X. Ta-da! Actually, it's gonna be more like that. <laughs> we have an X. <laughs> 
I've stained my X the same color as my boards to give it a nice look, but you could paint this, leave it natural, do what you like and make it your own. I love a good pegboard. It is great for organizing and keeping things open and easy to grab. I'm creating a frame using one by two lumber and I've already pre-cut these pieces down. It's gonna look something like that. If all is correct, you should be able to properly lie three pegboard sheets at 23 and a half by 48 on top. To attach all my one by two pieces of lumber together, I'm pre-drilling two holes at each joint and I'm securing it with some wood glue and two two inch wood screws. By pre-drilling, you're making sure that you don't split those one by two pieces of lumber. We now have whoop, a frame. Add your pegboards on top and secure to frame with a 5 8 wood screw and a half inch washer on each corner. The 5 8 wood screw has a dome head on it. Perfect. X marks the spot. How great is that? I just need like five guys. <laughs> I don't want to move. This works great in a kitchen space, in a front hallway. As a finishing touch, I've sourced three adhesive mirrors. You can customize it to your liking. And there you go, your very own DIY workout station to hold all your favorite gear in style. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you love this project, give it a big thumbs up and let me know where you would put your bench in your home in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next week.